All right, this question uh, is not a question. It's a, um, it's a topic about genetics. Um, someone asked, people always say genetics, genetics, genetics. Well, how come you look the way you do and your brother, who has the exact same genetics, it looks very different? Um, now, we do look similar. We're both muscular. We always were. You can tell we're brothers. You can tell... Um, if you spoke to us on the phone, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference in our voices. That, that's how very similar we, we've always been. Um, the answer to that is, um, one, he's four inches taller, so he's always a little longer, leaner, um, and I was always short and stumpy. Um, but our training changed drastically about... 10 years ago um, when we, we were both competing up until well he's been stopped around 12 years ago 13 years ago and uh, he was always more an athletic guy he would always run he would do triathlons he's done marathons he's done and I was like hell no I trained specifically for you know this is a good point because we do have the same genetics um, obviously, I went a different route um, with the supplements. He never did. Um, so that's a huge contributing factor. But um, the training, my training day in and day out has been to grow muscle. His training has been to activate muscle, to, to um, you know, condition himself, to be able to do everything and anything, to be good at anything. He sent me a video, he posted a video the other day on Instagram of him doing the monkey bars and swinging and then leaping off and jumping like seven feet and catching himself and swinging. And I would be in the hospital if I did that because I don't train that way. I don't train for that. So, you know, my calves, they're, although they're not huge like Flex Lewis, they're good sized calves. My brother's got little skinny calves um, and he always did. So his calves are designed for long distances. He could run forever. Uh, I couldn't run around the block. My calves would be burning, it'd cramp, and, and my feet would be killing me. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be able to do it. But that's a lot due to training. So you, you can change your body if you work hard enough for long enough and you're diligent enough. Uh, and, and we're prime examples of that because we did have the exact same genetics when we were growing up. We had the same body type. I was I was always a little thicker than him because I was shorter and stockier. Um, but we both had slim calves, um, you know. But then I made it a focus to train my calves two to three times a week and make them better. And now my calves are, you know, visibly a lot bigger than his. Um, it due to my training, due to my eating. He eats two to three times a day and very little, you know, he, and he eats clean. Most, for the most part, he eats very clean and healthy. And he eats just for the energy requirements that he needs. I eat to be as big as I can, you know, for my muscle to grow um, to the optimum, optimal way possible for for bodybuilding for what i do he trains to be an athlete um so it's a very interesting topic um and, and it just proves that you can improve you can change your genetics because i was meant to be uh, a little slighter you know more athletic looking but with muscle and over the course of 26 years of consistent training you know i now look like a bodybuilder which my brother would have too, had he continued competing or, or, or aimed his training more towards bodybuilding. Where his, he, is, he was into CrossFit for a long time, um, you know, where, where it's more endurance training uh, than it is size training. Um, so it's a good, it's a good uh, lesson for people out there, you know. If you have if if you having an issue, 
you put enough time and effort and consistency into it, you will be able to achieve significant gains. You may never have arms like Phil or legs like Quadzilla, Rami, but you can make improvements. It's going to take time. Um, you won't be able to do it overnight, but you can do it. So just form a plan, stick to it. Uh, make sure that plan is directly related to what your outcome is, you know, what you want, what you desire, and go for it. Um, you know, my brother's got unbelievable physique. That's the, that's the physique he wants, to be lean, shredded, active, athletic, to be able to do anything at any time. Where you know that's kind of where I'll head when I'm done competing, but um, for now I still want to be as, as muscular as I can be to be competitive at this Olympia. So genetics are a bitch. Sometimes they're a blessing. Sometimes they. Sometimes you can uh, you got to live with them. Sometimes you can fix them, change them. So um, do you think? This is the Boston Mass. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you're not subscribing, subscribe now. Tell all your friends to subscribe. If you haven't, do it now. All right?